Hello, I'm William DeLong with Motorsportsland RVs. I'm here today to show you the beautiful Redwood 38 GK. This is uh, uh, one of the larger rear living Redwoods it's offered. It's uh, closer to 40 feet in total length. And uh, we'll do a little walk around the outside and then uh, we'll head on inside and show you some of the, some of the beautiful decor inside. First off, um, I wanna talk about this paint here. You've got full body paint on the Redwood. Beautiful job with it. The, these are not decals. I mean, the, the time it takes to paint this is probably a week to a week and a half. It's a pretty, uh, pretty in-depth process and it just comes out beautiful. Uh, it's uh, like an automotive style type paint. So it'll last you quite a while without having any fading of any kind. Um, this is a neat feature they put on the Redwoods. This is actually a spot uh, designed and intended to put a toolbox. So it's not lost in the larger compartment here. It's got a uh, outlet back here, nice light, nice and secure locks, and um, then you always have your tools right there to work with. Huge pass-through storage here. I always like to point out in the Redwood too, just the, the fit and finish they work with. You've got a nice uh, wood paneled finished ceiling, rubberized floor. You've got all these uh, netted cargo uh, spaces here. So just top-notch job here. Pass-through, huge storage. Your uh, propane tanks on this, these aren't the uh, uh, seven and a half gallon propane tanks, these are the 10 gallon propane tanks or 40 pound propane tanks. You have one here, one on the other side. So plenty of propane, uh, shouldn't have to fill that up too often. Up front, you've got a uh, uh, prepped generator area. That's on the left side there. So if you wanted to add a generator down the road, save you a lot of money because it's already wired. Uh, right through to the main cabin for the, the start and stop feature, and uh, that would run off the propane system. You've got a uh, nice uh, aerodynamic front cap here. Beautiful uh, use of LED lights there. Uh, really just kind of shows off the, the redwood here and uh, makes a statement. Um, and then you've got these uh, brighter LED lights here for when you're hooking up to the, the kingpin here. You can see what's going on in the back of your truck. You've got a uh, rubberized um, they call this a Rotoflex system. There's basically a rubber pad that runs in this whole area here and the, the kingpin will pivot on that, which will keep your chucking down so that you don't feel the trailer um, pushing and pulling your, your uh, pickup around. Moving around this side, uh, this is a very unique feature here. I believe they're the first in the industry to do this. This is the slide out for the master bedroom. You actually have a slide within a slide and you'll appreciate what kind of room that gives you when I show you the bedroom inside. Uh, just makes it huge. So that's uh, something new they've come out with. This trailer is uh, equipped with a six point hydraulic auto level system. Here's the control panel here and you can see a button here, auto level, that's about as simple as it gets. You push that and there's six hydraulic jacks that will come down, four up front and two in the back of the uh, axles. Completely level out the trailer. Um, and one of the really neat features with that too is when you come back <clears throat> after you've, you've used your truck to go to town or whatever and you're uh, ready to go to the next campsite and hook up to the trailer, it has a uh, memory feature to it so that it will remember the exact level of the kingpin. So when you're ready to pack up, you just push that and it brings it right back to that spot. You back in, you're good to go. And here we've got the uh, control center here where all your hookups are for, for uh, water and, and uh, flushing the system out. You've got a uh, outside uh, shower deal here which actually has here it is right here, a uh, garden hose type deal with a quick connect on it. Put this in there, hook your uh, garden hose on the end of that and you've got uh, all that to work with. Make it real easy for winterizing this. You already have your hose here to put into your antifreeze bucket. You got your uh, hot water bypass, all of your uh, drains here and uh, black water flush option, cable input, satellite, all that. Something really unique about the uh, Redwood too, which is the uh, the water capacity. It's got a 104 gallon fresh water tank, which is um, a lot more than most of the uh, competition out there. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. But beautiful setup here. You got a little uh, uh, chart here real quick, just to help you with the, uh, that six point auto leveling we talked about, just uh, you know the bullet points on that. And uh, nicely, nicely contained in there. You've got uh, 40,000 BTU furnace. So that's about as uh, much as you're gonna see there and uh, do everything you need to with uh, heating the RV if it gets cold out. 12 gallon hot water heater, which is uh, DSI. Um, so it's, it, it lights itself uh, directly. You don't have to use a, a match or anything like that. Coming back this side, uh, 
Your uh, wheels on this are 17, or I'm sorry, 16 inch rims with uh, G rated tires. Not the E rated tires. A lot of trailers out there, you'll see the E rated tires on it and uh, it's just not quite as heavy a duty a tire. So this is uh, the G rated tire, which really helps you not have any issues with that down the road. Got uh, 50 amp power service, as you do have uh, dual ACs on this trailer. Therefore, you need the, uh, the extra um, ampage there to run those. It's a nice feature too. Uh, put a two inch receiver on here. The main intent for this is if you wanna put a bike rack on the back, um, you know, you can use that. I, I guess some people would use it to maybe tow some a small trailer behind this, but uh, anyway, nice feature there. This is something they've added too. It's a, you know, just making best use of all the storage you can. You've got a uh, nice uh, waterproofed area back here to, to store things, uh, firewood, you know, whatever you, you might be taking along on your trip that uh, you just need a little extra space for. Got a uh, built-in ladder here. Get you up on the top. It's a full walk-around roof. So, um, you know, there's no problem with going up there. Uh, if you need to check things out, you're, you're good to go there. This is a nice feature too. You've got the uh, full fiberglass rear cap, uh, like the front cap, and um, this wraps in around the back side. And what that does is uh, it gives you increased fuel mileage with your truck when you're towing this. It creates kind of an eddy effect back here, a low pressure that, that helps to essentially push the RV along from the back. All that wind that's coming down wraps back around and will we'll, uh, typically get you about two to three gallons uh, more miles per gallon. So that's certainly good. You've got frameless windows, which are uh, double pane. Real nice thing about the uh, frameless windows, aside from the beautiful look of them, is they pivot out from the center point here. So they come out kind of like a shingle. Therefore, uh, if you left the windows open, went to town, and a uh, thunderstorm comes through, you've got a much, uh, much better chance of not having any water get into the trailer. Uh, when you have the, the windows that slide up and down like a lot of trailers, uh, you're, you're totally exposed to the weather to get inside. So real nice feature there. <clears throat> you've got two awnings on this, power awnings obviously, with LED lights. And um, they also have the aluminum uh, caps to them. So when they're uh, all rolled up and you've got that top part of the uh, fabric, a lot of trailers uh, that'll be showing there and it's a, it's a spot that'll get a lot of uh, sun and just weather and can uh, break down over time. But this, when it's all rolled up, is covered by aluminum cap, which is real nice. This is a cool feature here too. Got a uh, outside entertainment center with a TV. Um, and you know, again, they didn't spare any expense. You've got, uh, you know, LG TV, not some brand you've never heard of. Uh, so a real nice TV there and you can utilize that hanging out under the awning. The uh, dry weight on this trailer comes in at about 14,000 pounds. So, um, you know, that's about, about where you'd uh, be with a trailer of this size. Um, you know, designed for a uh, three quarter ton or uh, certainly one ton to tow this. So with that, we'll head inside and take a look at the beautiful inside of the Redwood. This is another place Redwoods really shine. I, I just haven't seen a more beautiful trailer. Um, honestly, you, you just got everything. LED lights, beautiful cabinets, kitchen, 12 cubic foot propane fed fridge. You actually have uh, two pantries in this trailer. This is one here. Got these really nice drawers that uh, come on out for you. And they've done something really nice with this one in particular. You've got a uh, 110 outlet in the back here so that you can leave uh, coffee uh, maker, uh, toaster oven, things like that. Leave that right on here, plugged in, you pull it out, use it, and then you uh, stow it back away. Uh, real nice hinges on these. I mean, these are heavy duty, residential type hinges. Um, they're hidden hinges. So when the door's shut, you don't see any hinges on the side. All you see is the beautiful cabinet, not all uh, metal like you'd see in a lot of uh, trailers. Uh, again, nice TV here. We've got an LG TV. This is actually set up on a swivel so that you have all this uh, storage in behind here too, which is actually a good place if you have things that you want to just keep out of sight in your trailer. It's a good place to put them because most people wouldn't even uh, realize that the TV comes out like that. Sound bar, fireplace. This is one of the neatest features in this area here. You've got a pull-out desk with this on the hydraulic struts. 
Um, again, great storage there. Just a, you know, you're hopefully not working too much on your vacation, but uh, if you need to, you've got a spot that you can uh, use as a desk there. And then on either side of the desk, you've got uh, filing cabinet drawers, and then uh, these drawers here. So pretty much set up just like a desk you might have at home. In the back here, uh, you know, you've got a sleeper sofa, which is nice. Uh, beautiful woodwork around these windows. I mean, just, just top notch. Um, you know, it's just real wood window sills around the, uh, the windows here, which is just a great look to the trailer. You've got a uh, air conditioning system in this, which is pretty unique too. If you look at the ceiling, you, you notice you don't see any air conditioning units sticking down from the ceiling. Uh, a lot of people say, where's the AC? Well, it's got two of them, but um, they're pretty much hidden up into the ceiling. And how they work is in the, uh, in the ceiling, you've got these cold air returns in different places. What that does uh, mainly is it keeps the, uh, the noise down on the AC system. It's, uh, I think they call it their whisper quiet system. It's just a lot less noise with the way that uh, system's set up. We'll look in the kitchen here. You've got a real nice residential style faucet, you know, pull out design there, huge kitchen sink, double sided. These double as uh, cutting boards if you want to use them that way. I actually have a dishwasher in this unit too. You can see that down here. Not as big as what you'd have in a, in a home, but you know, pretty much they're thinking it's going to be two folks out here enjoying the RV and that's enough dishwasher to, uh, to take care of things there. Um, another pantry here, similar to the one I showed you back there, with the drawers, you've got an outlet there, all these pull out, just beautiful. And the table here, this has a pull out leaf to it, and then you have two extra folding chairs that have the same fabric pattern on them. So if you need a little extra room here, you can pull that out, or if you're going to have some company, you can uh, uh, fit the other chairs in around that. This is nice too. Um, this bumps out a little bit because you've got that TV underneath this that you have for outside. So it gives a, kind of a nice place just to put some extra uh, plates or uh, you know, salt and pepper, condiments, things like that. So pretty good use of space there. You've got a uh, real nice set of blinds on this. These are the day blinds. So you pull those down during the day if you want just to kind of uh, keep the sun out a little bit but not totally darken up the trailer. And they're, uh, they auto retract. And then this is your uh, uh, nightshade, which completely blacks out the, uh, the light from outside. So if you want total privacy, have that. Real nice setup there. More room here. A little coat closet. This is your, uh, your uh, generator prep setup here. You got your start and stop button and then various other uh, control features there. You have central vac on this trailer. Right down here is the kick plate. So all you do is uh, sweep the debris on the floor here over that, kick it with your foot, and it sucks it right in. Done. Real simple. And there's also uh, um, outlets to put the hose in, too. Insulation values on this trailer. This is a, a full year-round uh, residential-type trailer. It's got uh, R38 in the ceiling, R42 in the floor. I don't know of any trailer that has better R values, bottom line. Um, you know, R10 in the, the walls. And uh, you've got obviously a wrapped, heated, and closed underbelly too. So this is uh, this has been tested in um, basically huge refrigerators that they put the whole RV in, and they set the thermostat to 72 degrees. Then they drop the outside temperature down to like zero degrees, make sure that it holds its temperature at 72, leave it there for a day or two, and then they do the opposite, take it up to like 105 degrees, and make sure that the trailer can uh, sustain the 72 degrees. So. It passes those tests with flying colors. We'll move up into the bedroom now. Got a real nice uh, one-piece fiberglass shower. So not a two-piece deal. This is like, uh, like you'd have in home. It's uh, not going to have any places for it to leak, being that it's uh, the one-piece fiberglass. Nice bathroom there. Porcelain toilet. You've got uh, two medicine cabinets in there. Um, you know, just really nicely laid out. You have the power exhaust van up above there. Now this could be the most unique thing about the, uh, this particular trailer. This is that slide within a slide setup. So here's your first slide. 
Then back here, the bed itself slides out another couple feet. What that gives you is back at the foot of the bed, you have almost four feet of hallway here, just room to maneuver around. So really, really nice setup there. Beautiful closet doors here, which leads you into the uh, walk-in closet, which has uh, cedar lined shelving, you know, just done beautifully. You've got uh, on the floor down here, actually I have a little spot where they put a uh, safe for you too. Just kind of hidden out of the way. Um, you know, just if you have some important things you want to keep there. Another LG TV, um, cabinets, drawers, everywhere. Beautiful trailer. Almost six feet, seven inches of uh, headroom up here too. That's some of the tallest in the, in the industry. Um, just a huge bedroom here. You have a whole extra sink and um, yeah. So that, uh, that about wraps it up. Um, we'd love you to come on down to Motorsportsland, take a look at it. I'm William DeLong. Be happy to help you out and um, come on down. We'll show you the Redwoods. Take care. Let motorsports land guide you.